Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Fall, winter, Christmas, the holidays. I've had the best idea on how to share, how to do something that is that season with that fall that you can do now as we go into the fall, into the winter. A little bit of Halloween, you might even want to go into Christmas. You might want something that's bright ruby red for all year. Well, let me just share how easy it is from one concept to take it to lots. Now I've got this lovely basket here and it was just a little bit too flat for me so I got the engineer the husband put little legs on it and I've just painted them black and I just love this really rough baskety weave that's on the exterior of this basket because it's sort of like sturdy and solid and we perfect for what we want to do. Now the other thing is by putting legs on it or raising it it's just going to elevate it to an, a, a bigger, do I want to say bigger? No, it's just going to look a little bit higher and yeah I do want to say big it's going to look larger that's what I want to achieve right now the first thing I want to do is to put in some of this gorgeous red maple which I absolutely love and thanks to the open weave of the cane or whatever the reed is that's on the outside of that it just makes it easy for placing these I could tie them into place but oh don't really see the point in doing that so I'm just going to ring these around like so and you can bring some of the leaves down if you want to or you could just oh, I don't know you could you can please yourself how you want to put these in but I just thought that those just hanging out the side would be really lovely and just by by bending and manipulating those stems you're going to make it appear as if it's a little bit bigger and the grace of the red coming out the sides sides will just extend it and I just really love that colour of red for this time of the year, you know, and, and I think that nature's really clever by how she provides us with these beautiful different colourways throughout the seasons. So you, like the red is like a lovely warm colour, perfect for this time of the year. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into the centre because I want to elevate it because I want to put things onto the at the top of it. Now I've got some roses here, in fact I've got four roses and because I've got that little dish there that's going to keep everything from falling out because it's going to contain it. So we'll put one over there, I'm going to bring one to go around and over to the side and because it is the winter we don't have to have things all neat and you know all neat and tidy together because I think that the fall to me and, and the winter is sort of like things have lost their luster or they've lost their shape or the wind has got in there and sort of like battered them a wee bit so this is just fantastic now oh, I've got five of these oh what was I thinking so that can just and I'm just getting them so just so that they fall over the sides and then with that I'll just bring that around to there and what I've done is I've actually just bent up all these stems I could you I could have left them um, straight but I just feel that that, that little bit of movement that I uh, can achieve is going to give me the movement and the fall and the, that I want it to have. So just bending those up and if it's stick, sticking out a bit too much it doesn't really matter. Now the next thing I wanted to put in is some blackberries because they are just a, and I love the colour like the beautiful depth of the red and then that little bit of black and then on the outside of some of these leaves they're a little bit darker again so just adding a little bit more weight into the design that I'm doing so they can just go around to there and these are just sort of sort of ringing around some are going out some are going in and these are just the actually what's great about these is oh no, I was going to say the, what's great about these is they just all sort of slip into there and will, without moving but I was actually telling myself lies there I'm going to bring in a Another one into the light. Oops, hold on, I do have to move that. So that bend there just makes it easier to just manipulate them into place. Let me just go around here. I've got a little space there that I'd like another one to be. And then I think, in fact, I might just put three there for no other reason other than I feel like having that little clustered group there. Now I've got these lovely little short pieces of magnolia. I'm just going to bring those down and into there to just give us a little bit more height. I'll have a piece there and I'll have a piece over there. Now from there, the sky is the limit. You can pile things into the middle, you could put candles. I've got these gorgeous 
wooden apples that I could put into there, or it's apples and pears, and they could all go around the outside. But what I did want to share is, like you can see we can go big red candle, whatever, but it's nearly Halloween, and I like the fact that from one base design, you can take it to a whole new level. And over here, I've got these lovely uh, roses that I made ages and ages ago. In fact, I made them years ago, and they are that battered, but they're still a great form for achieving something that's a bit moody and a little bit dark, like as in Halloween. So, from there, I have a skull, which I think is lovely. I was going to do something lovely with that and sort of like mix the kin it up for, you know, the day of the dead, but I didn't quite get there. But what I have done is, let me just move this out of the way. The skull can just sit down there. All I've done here is I just painted the vase black. I've put a couple of branches in, and then I've just put some snakes and some spiders and some little skulls hanging up. And I love these little these little skeletons just hanging all around. Plus, I have here. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Did, I, did, did anybody bother to say as to check your lights? No, they didn't. But anyway, I'm just going to put that into there because I just want a little bit of a glow. And then I'm just going to bring that up and into the centre there. And you could bring these around the back, but I couldn't really... Be well, I don't know where the rest of them were. I think they might have just wandered with the children. But here you've got like the black into there leading up into up into the, what's happening here. And then with these, oh, I'll just bend that up because this is what I usually do with these. These can just, just, will I just do it? Will I just take it off? Ah, yeah. That can go into there like so, and that could go into there on the other side. In fact, I need three, and I don't know where the third one is, so I'll just put two into there. But you could put coal, or you could put apples, you could put anything that you liked into that to just take that one simple concept design into Halloween. So I'm going to call it the holidays, winter, fall, Christmas, whatever. I like this kind of designing because once you've got it, it's a standalone that can be pulled out whenever you want to do something with it. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed sharing with you and I look forward to seeing you all again another day.